All right, so the seniors race at Misano. I had quite a bit of practice uh, for this. Uh, I raced like four of the three or four of the practice races during the week, and then I also raced. I practiced about a half hour every night, and I studied the uh, track maps, things like that. Uh, by the way, my name is uh, this is Woe's channel, and my name is Willie Owens. And I am a member of East Seniors GT3 Sim Championship League for a league for 50 and older drivers. And uh, it's not going to show my qualify. I guess it's a different replay would be for qualifying. Um, I have a heartbreaker of a qualifying. One, two, three. Four, five, sixth. My last lap, I was doing a 135 five, I think it was. And I blew, I, I took the last corner turn too close and blew my lap. It got, I got, um, a track cut. And it killed my lap. I probably would have. I would have been very close to pole if I had gotten that. My entire race would have been different. But I, the race was a lot of fun. So here we go. They're starting to kick off here. I'm in the white car. Starting 24th. Which is... Nine places up from last place. Which is where I normally start. So it would have been really, it would have made a huge difference in my race if I had gotten that last qual lap down because the beginning of this race, I am stuck in traffic while some of these guys in my class are just wa walking away from me. And uh, we'll see, we'll go over it. Very fun race, exciting. I Thank you for viewing and i hope that you stay and watch because especially at the beginning there was a lot of it, very exciting racing Here we go. Actually, we missed just the pad. Let's go back a little farther. We want to get this from the start. Rodriguez is on my outside. Leitner and, and uh, Langelos in front of me. Very aggressive spark by the BMW. He's almost making it three wide here. Pinches me to the inside and then hits the side of my car. That actually cost me two seconds worth of damage. Very exciting start though. And I'm just staying pretty calm and collected. I do feel trapped here. But yeah, it's feeling a little trapped. Oh, wow, that was close. I'm racing with uh, Robert. Um, uh, I gained quite a bit of 
traction there. Ali laid back a little bit. And I'm trying to get up into the thick of things. And here comes Ollie. He's like, I'm not taking any of that. I'm faster than you, and you're a bronze wiggly worm. And then I said, Oh, yeah, Ollie? We'll see about that. Because I see right now. In front of me is Brian Banks. So now I'm I'm actually in second place already, so it was a very good start for me. Mr. Cologne in third behind me. Pretty good start all around. And here I start. I'm already thinking, I'm like, should I be aggressive or just stay calm and relaxed? And I don't grip the wheel very tight. So I didn't, I decided just to do a little deep breathing and just chill out. Be patient. My time will come. Don't try and force anything. Looked like Ollie was going to make a move on McKay here. Going to make it stick on the outside. Just give me a chance to cut the gap. And I'm watching right now, like... Brian kind of walk away. Uh, Brian goes off and makes a mistake there. Recovers very well, and Shannon gets spy. I'm trying to battle Ollie here. And Ollie's probably like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I was really battling me. Shouldn't it be there in the back somewhere? And Robert cut the gap a bit. The first two laps were very slow. I can remember it was like 138 or something like that. Which is just kind of crawling along. See there, there's Robert, 138.2. And I was 138.85. And I'm all over I'm all over Ollie here. It's go time. Robert's crawling up on me, and I need to get I need we need to start getting the lead out of here. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose positions. I don't want to lose positions. You have Cal, uh, Caballero and Rodriguez and Rainier. And that group behind, there's a wreck right there. Let's, get, let's go back and take a look and see what happened there. Slow it down a little. And Caballero just nails the back of Palom and then straightens him out. So now you got Rodriguez, Caballero, and Rainier, and God, am I glad I wasn't in this grouping. Because these guys at this point are just hemorrhaging time. See the big gap now, all that time that cost 
That cost Robert Colon a lot of time. Actually, I kind of, there was a mistake that I had a white car, but, um, because my car skin wasn't working or something. So, but I'm kind of glad. Now I kind of, I kind of like the white car. And Ollie goes off there, which I don't know if he was feeling the pressure or what, but. I was definitely putting the pressure on. Going to his outside here, it's making it more difficult for him to make this turn. And he's seeing me in his mirror quite a bit. Let's see what all he's seeing in his mirror. I'll judge if you can hear the fan above me. I have a fan above me, but it's kind of warm here tonight, so. There I am. He's getting, he's getting a good look at my car and his camera. See, I backed off quite a bit there to make sure that he had plenty of room and then back on it again. I am all over him like fly a fly on a turd <laughs> and he goes off i don't like seeing that though i did not i wasn't happy to see that i don't feel happy to see it now even either but i knew i could do way better than 138 and i need to move out and next is in front of me is Matt Kay, who's also a sober driver, much faster than me, generally. Let's see. How, let's look for inside Matt Kay's car. Now his friend, there I am behind. He's got a nice cushion in front and behind. Behind him there is myself, and then in front of him is Mr. Banks. I mean, at one point, Banks was about four seconds in front of me. But I'm working on cutting that down. And I... I almost had Richard there, but I lifted off a little bit to make sure there was no contact. That is a very cool looking car he's got. I like that paint job a lot. I saw quite a bit of his paint job. Look at that. That is cool. I saw a lot of his paint job during this race. See how that Ferrari, uh, it's a very uh, twitchy car. And the more I drive this McLaren, the more I like it because it's just super stable car to drive. I take a big looping turn here. I started doing this uh, earlier in the day and I, I would make the straight longer, which would give me more speed in the straights. And then uh, there we have a Richard Bloom and Ali Lordner. Here we have Thomas Rainier. Hugo. And you see Robert is all over Ali now as well. 
And I'm sure he wants to get by because he wants to catch me and Brian because currently he's in third place. Third place in bronze. Excuse me. And the battle ensues. The battle's going on for 17th place. We're not racing really each other, but. And they say, oh, don't race, you know, don't race the guy that's in another group. But I gotta race him to get to the guy that's in front of him. So I have no choice. Gotta go. That's how I was in this race. I was just like, go, 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 go. Let's go. And this turned out to be one of the most exciting races that I've ever had in these seniors. I currently 18th place, which is really good for me. I finished finished uh, nine places up past nine cars. Uh, I didn't pass nine cars, but I finished nine positions up, which might have been the biggest gain of anyone in this race. Trying to get back that Coca-Cola, he gets real weird there, and I decided I'm going for it. Pounced and took advantage of that situation. Got yeah, 1369. And I had a 1369 as well. And Banks last lap was a 1364. And here comes Ollie now. Ollie's really stepping on it. Ken Schmidt bring up the rear here. But something happened to Rogerio Santis. He must have got an incident. Kevin Torrance is 29th. Jay Parks just behind Grolu. And that's 26 to 27th. Langalos behind Jeremy Robos. Neil Leader from the 24th. Jay Rodriguez, Rodriguez in 23rd. Nice battles going here between Grenier. That Porsche really can handle the corners on this track. You see, they've cut the gap between Ali and Palom. And I'm three seconds behind. Three seconds behind Brian Banks. My last lap was my fastest with 36.250. His was a 36.490. You see right now the difference in his qualification position in mine made up a huge difference. If I had had the opportunity to finish get if I had gotten off that last lap I wouldn't be so having to make up all this time. And I have to say I was feeling pretty excited. Like kind of a little nervous, edgy, but excited too. But like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I was in that tough mind frame. Let's go, let's, let's push the limit here. I had no track cuts in the first half of the race at all. The leader of the race right now is Myers, followed by Young, Saunders, Ponoff, Novias, Novas, 
Bird, Howells, Obando, the France, Frito, Strobich, Napoleon, Ellis, Dave, Peter David. We're just a bit in front of me here. There's Peter David catching Lee Ellis. And Shannon right behind Peter David and Banks. All right, so let's see, I just cut it down. It was just three, three seconds or something. Now it's 2.7 seconds and I'm racing. I'm racing lap nine. I'm racing my little heart out. I'm just absolutely racing my heart out. I wanted to win this race so badly. I'm not usually that greedy or think about that during a race, but I'm like, I am in striking position and I want to win this. I want to win Browns today. Unfortunately, just like when I came in fourth two weeks ago, circumstances happen. The contact that I had on lap one, where it's at this point in the race, I'm not a weir, gave me two seconds of damage. And that would cost me dearly later in the race. But I have, I have complete confidence in this car and my setup was just outstanding. So stable. And third week people were like, ah, oh, you should drop your TC, you'll go faster without the TC, blah, blah, blah. I don't think so. I, I was in, I got in the 35s, I think, in this race. I think I, I think I might have did 35s. I don't remember, but I was cruising, and I don't think if I turned TC down, that I would have been any faster. Super, super happy with my performance today. Could not be more pleased. I didn't win. Oh, let's not be a spoiler. I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, I didn't win. Let's just say that. But super happy with my progress. I feel like I'm slowly gaining more confidence. My thinking is be much better of late. Um, for those that don't know, I have a very bad thyroid problem and um the last few months uh six months i've been having extreme problems with anxiety and they finally figured it out that My thyroid medicine that I take was too high a dose and it was probably having a lot of effect on me mentally and affecting my thinking because since they changed it, I feel like I'm way sharper, less brain fog, and my anxiety has been zero. Like I would say yesterday was the most anxiety that I felt in like probably since they changed the medicine which was like four or five weeks ago so I'm, I'm hoping that I keep on this trend of getting myself back it's great because I, I felt like I was not myself for a very long time between the operations that I had and then uh, the thyroid medication I've cut the lead a little bit here is 1.6 seconds now ahead of me. So I've gone from 3.7 to 2.6, and I'm like striking distance. 
Oh, Brian Banks. So close, yet so far. And ahead there is Peter, David, and Aaron Shannon battling. One thirty seven point five. One thirty seven point four. Aaron's really up. Oh my god, he's all over him. Oh, and there goes the mistake, but he wasn't able to take advantage because he got nervous, it looked like, or or he got loose himself, but wow, that was pretty cool. And there goes Sharon into the pits. There's Cologne is the next car behind me. Something happened to Lee Ellis, not sure what. And Schmidt is in thirtieth, Torrance twenty ninth. Santos trying to get paid. James Parks was in 25th. Throw you and Lango is about to get past. McKay is in 21st. He's going to be battling leader soon, I think. Rodriguez and Ali pack of three cars here Rainier, Caballero, and Cologne. Two silver cars being led by a bronze, and looks like the it looked like the bronze is gonna let off there, but he still has position. And there's a 136 too. I'm starting to try and pour it on, Brian. Four sixty-seven. I'm pouring it on him as hard as I can. And we're actually catching Peter David. Wow, nice job. Good job there by Willie Owens. <laughs> Taking that wide arcing turn, which seems to be working for me. I just can't get close enough, though. So close yet so far. I did get, at one point get close enough or almost side by side, I think, with him. Or close to side by side and just wasn't enough. Backed off quite a bit there. I got a nice run going on here. Yeah, you know, I look in his back mark. See, I'm not that close yet. Not cl there. We go. Get a little closer there. We're up on him. I actually had to back off there a bit. I actually lost a bit of time because he slowed down quite a bit. 
And like I said, I'm just trying to pour it on here. Now we have Derek Bird in front of Banks, and I don't know, but oh, that looked like might have been a penalty track cut, but I'm not sure. I lost almost a full second there. Pulling about 20 car lengths behind here. Well, have quite a nice cushion in front of Bloom. Uh, 8.9 second lead on him. At this point in the race, I'm not sure if I'm second in class or shooting for first because I have no idea where leader is. I decided to duck into the pits. I practiced this during the week going real fast through here. As fast as possible. <laughs> Where is Banks? Can't find Banks on my list now. Banks, 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 where are you? Okay, that's where he is. He's got a huge jump on me. Oh, uh, now he's he's pitting now. Oh, and this was that. This slowed me down. I couldn't figure out how he got so far. Right here, I lost time fiddling around with Obando. And he's in first place, but like he just got in a wreck. And I'm like, I, you know, I need to get by here, buddy. Time's a ticking. And this turned out to be a bit of a mess. I lost time here. Let's go back and look at this. Whoa. And I just kept the hammer down. And I had a weird awkward going into this angle going into this turn, so I lift off a little. And that cost me time though. Probably cost Aaron time as well. And I totally did not let uh, him spook me being behind me. I just get my eyes on the road. He's already been in and out of the pits, so I know he's here to stay. All right, let's stop right here. Let's take a look to see where Banks is. He's coming out of the pits. There goes Ellis. So he's got a nice little lead over me right now. Almost five seconds in that pitch sequence he picked up. Look how much farther. He's almost at the end of his turn now. A, two things happened here. A, I had to slow down for the incident. And B, I had to repair two seconds of damage that I got on lap one. I didn't realize that I had two seconds of lap damage until I actually got into my pit box. And I was like, oh no. 
And really, that probably cost me the race. It cost me the race. Well, it cost me. It didn't cost me the race, but it cost me uh, first place in my division. I really wanted to win because who knows? I may never get another chance to win again. With all these years of racing, this was my best finish. My only second place podium. I think before this, I might have had two podiums there, two third places. Something like that. Not, it has been very many podiums, that's for sure. In my four years, I've been racing the these seniors, three years or whatever it's been. I've had, I think, three podiums in total. Probably about 100 races or something like that. Brian is almost four seconds ahead of me. Aaron kind of backed off a little bit, but I'm feeling he's going to start gaining on me. Otherwise, he's going to have Rainier bearing down him, but his last lap was a 138. Aaron's was a 136 something. I was in 136 too. I'm moving along pretty, pretty darn good. I mean, these guys that are around me are generally way faster than me. So looks like I had a little stumble there. Seems like he also had a very good setup. I'm a little bit off right there. Go wide. That's scr scrubbing some speed right there. Not good. And I'm going to be starting to get feeling the pressure. I got a nice, huge cushion on the third place driver. Look at that. He's just coming up to straight now. So I'm not really too concerned with losing third place. I'm all about the win right now because second and third is great, but really not doing much for me since I'm not in the points. Need to win. So Aaron, you know, 135.7 there. And I also in the 135. Oh, that was just the one lap before was a 130. It just switched 136.3. So he's turning faster laps. Most likely wanting to get by me. Nice, I had a nice turn right there that was very good so Schmidt 
uh 29th i think a couple cars have dropped out now uh ali in 28th torrance 27th caballero 25th cologne and 25th mckay 24th and it looks like uh james parks has moved up and he's contesting roll you peter lafrance who had a, a, a giant off uh langos rodriguez and back to aaron shannon and myself One thirty six one was Aaron's last slap. Mine was a one thirty five nine. I'm holding my own right now. He's not just he's not just holding back. I'm actually holding my own. We're starting to close the gap on banks a little bit. First time that I've ever been in second place in my division. And I'm definitely aware of what's going on. But I wasn't sure where a leader was. I wasn't sure at the time whether I was in second or third. So we got we're catching a car in front of us. If that's a lap car or what. That is Peter David and Britos in front of Banks. And now Aaron's got a really great run on me. It almost goes off. Um, I actually lifted off here. You want to go back? You got an awkward start there on that. But you see, I completely lift off. Watch. See where I break? I'm going to break really hard there. Because I, he actually somewhat dive bombed me. <laughs> I completely lifted off. And um, thinking that maybe I could just, if he overshoots the corner, I could pass him, do like a changeover on him, but it didn't work. 
It was worth it, I think, for him to pass me because he got another position, plus now he has a chance to contest Peter David. My last lap was a 136-1. His was a 136. His last lap was faster. I actually turned the fastest lap in bronze. Actually, my fastest lap was actually also faster than Shannon's. It was also faster than Peter David's. It was also, my best was also faster than Brian Banks. I had a faster lap than all these guys, except for Britos. 747, 787, really close. So hopefully this race gives me confidence. I have a lot of confidence in this car. Nice, really stable car. I'm starting to learn how this car operates. Starting to find a very happy place when it comes to um, my wheel settings. Thanks. Looks like he's sweating. Uh, he's sweating Peter David pretty hard up ahead there. He has to keep pace, and I actually just fell back. I fell back quite a bit. I needed to push harder. Meanwhile, Guy Young is taking over first place. He'll go on to win this race. Saunders, Marys, Onoff, Bird. Obando. Battle between well, it's Trowbridge and Clellan. Thirty six seven for Brian, thirty six five for myself. Brian's done a very, very good job just to not make any mistakes and keep me back here. It's my hope that Aaron Shannon catches them and then slows them down for slows them slows them down. So right now, this part of the race, I'm in the Aaron Shannon fan club. Let's go, Aaron! I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Uh, 
527. There he is. He's right in front of me. Cannot catch him. I'm starting to lose ground. Bad lap 137. I needed one through 136s. Brian also had a 137 there. Need to get faster. We're just going to speed this up. No, I realize that Santos is not going to catch me at this point because we only have um, two laps to go. And I'm starting to make my way up to Brian. Not sure who that was that was on the side of the road there. And how did Shannon get behind me again? Oh, there we are. There we go. There we go. Now is my big shot. I didn't, I wasn't able to pull it off. Well, actually, that's not me. That's Shannon. Where am I? I'm still pretty far back. I just see I'm starting to make ground on Brian. I think his tires are going. So I'm like, let's push. See what happens. Thanks, last lap. 136.8. I was starting to worry about that car coming back up. 136.8. And I did a 136.18. So I'm gaining on him. I'm almost there. Let's go. I'm almost there. We so close. We fought all, we battled. We were five seconds back twice in this race and battled back from being five seconds or more down to catch up to be like three car lengths behind the other car that w was the winner and very well deserved win. Great job. And, you know, I could come up with a bunch of excuses. I was so far behind so many times, battled my way back. I had to pass way more cars. I got hit by another car. I had a rough pit stop because I had damage. I had a car, two cars uh, wrecked the leader, the leader in a second place driver car wreck in front of me. Uh, and that slowed me down. So... You know, I can make a lot of excuses, but the real thing is I should have had plenty of laps where I might have done 136s or 37s and I should have done 
I should have done a 135s. And uh, so, in the end, you know, I'm two seconds back. Trying real hard, though. Only one lap more lap to go. Can I get closer? Absolutely dying of thirst at the moment. Can't wait for the race to end so I can have something to drink. It's not looking like it's not looking too good at at, at the time, but he has traffic in front of him. It's just way too big a gap for me to catch up. Almost a two second gap at this point. And I just tried and tried and tried. I was like the little engine that could. But at the end, I couldn't. There was no could left as. The 9-11 of Banks was just too fast. And let's face it, he's the bronze championship runner-up. And quite frankly, I think he should have won a championship. I'm not going to go there. That's the end of the race. And thank you so much for viewing. It was a great race. I enjoyed it very much. And uh, I feel like uh, it was a feather in my cap to finish. I think I finished 14th. And um, to be five seconds back, like two or three times in this race, um, was really good. There, there's a difference, you know, like 1.7 seconds at the end. That is what it is. Um, but at the same time, I raced almost a completely flawless race. I started, I, I, I moved up nine or ten positions in this race, which probably was, I was probably the biggest mover overall. Moved up more positions than any other car. Came back after being down, having like at the beginning of the race, having to work my way. Battling Richard McKay, battling Ali, and whoever else. I would say I'm very proud of my effort in this race and super happy. Second place, you know, like he asked me a week or two ago, um, would you get a podium? third place and a second place two races in a row i would just laugh at you but here we are fourth place second third place and a second place consecutive weeks so anyway that's my video everyone has a great day those that participated and watching this now still stayed through the whole video uh good job on a season well done Thanks for the administrators, hard work and effort. And that's it. Good night. Thank you.